This is KFWT Channel 21 for Worth Dallas, and it is time now for the KFWT Primetime News, Wednesday, June 4th, 1969. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wilkins, and it is what's happening. Mexico City, a Mexican jetliner with 70 people aboard. Crashed and burned on a cloud shrouded mountain in northeast Mexico Wednesday. Aerial spotters reported nobody survived the crash. Several high ranking political figures, a sports hero, at a wedding party were believed to be aboard the Mexican the aviation flight from Mexico City to Monterey. There's certainly no one alive because the plane exploded in the air, said Dr. Juan Antonio Magan, Red Cross Rescue Chief at Monterey. He did not say why he believed the Blue in 727 had exploded. The crash site was on a mountain side more than a mile above sea level, 30 miles west of Monterey. The passenger listed included Rafael Osana, Mexico's top tennis player who engineered Mexico's upset Davis Cup victory over Australia in his own play last month. Carlos Mendrano, former president of the country's real and international revolutionary party and his wife. The chief of Mexico's highway department, Real Chapa Zarate, the president of the National Fiscal Court, Generoso Chapa, and the wives were also reported aboard. They were the murderers were in a party of wedding guests. More than a score planes joined the search for the airliner, which vanished after it refused landing permission at Riverdin Manway Airport. Bad weather and rugged train slowed rescue teams on the ground. The plane went last heard from about 7.58 a.m. as it approached from Monterey on non-stop flight from Mexico City. The pilot was told Monterey Airport was closed because of bad weather and could not land. He had a north and made a north river radio contact with the Monterey Airport. It was first thought that the pilot might have landed an alternate field. Wayman Duenosa, a news director at Monterey's Channel 3 television station, said he flew in over the wreckage in a light plane about 3 p.m. There were many reports from farmers that they either saw or heard explosion, but police and Red Cross officials said they were false. They are where the plane crashes at near the outside village of our command. Columbus, Ohio. Eight Columbus policemen and an accused numbers operator were indicted in the federal grand jury Wednesday on charges involving gambling payoffs. Nine other persons were included, two police officers were the named co conspirators. The indictments committed a three year investigation by federal agents and the work of the federal grand juries. Public Safety Director Fred Simons, who was the police department, said he has no plan to suspend or otherwise penalize the officers solely on the indictments of President Neighbor Police Chief Robert Boss, no Mayor Emmy Sensenbrenner, could be reached with comment. The eight and the policemen were charged with accepting payoffs from organized gamblers. The ninth man was charged with making payoffs to the policemen. No arrest warrant served immediately. Roger Bankley, an United U.S. attorney for Seven Ohio, said all would be rumored by Raymond on the U.S. District Court here June 13th. The indictments variously alleged conspiracy to use interstate facilities to aid rector and conspiracy to defraud the United States and aid in the independent and the U.S. of interstate facilities to aid rector. So Name and indictments were Captain Jerry Ryan, Chief of the Intelligence yeah, Section, yeah. Captain Robert Taylor, Chief of the Vice Squad, Lieutenant William Boris, a Vice Squad Officer, Sergeant Robert Brutt and Frank Stuckey, yeah. Patrolman Gary Roach of Robert Martin and James Malcolm Mall of the Vice Squad. Yeah. Also did I were Frank Bedasso, described as a Columbus Numbers Operator. Mackley listed as going conspirators but not indicted Police Sergeants Melvin Helm, Mannaller, and John Kaiser, former policeman Wilbur Stevens, and now living in Florida. Frank Drumgold, described as a Numbers Operator, Charles Wilkins, and Michael Kalafa. Louis Mullins and Eric Lee and Cornelia Banks and Mankley had no further identification on these men. A federal investigation of some police officials believed no one publicly last summer after police arrested two employees on the Internal Revenue Service and an attorney from the U.S. Justice Department. Colorado Springs, President Nixon Wednesday launched a strong contrary attack on the critics with his military and foreign policy. He derided them as a new isolation to pledge them under his leadership and the United States would turn back its world. In the first full-length defense, I had a strategic and diplomatic policy of the president and assailed those would be reduced the country's military defense as weaken its alliances. Could we withdraw from its commitments around the globe? He noted that rising criticism in Congress and in the country about the power of the Pentagon and its conceded to open the siege on the armed forces, but he said that it is President Ewa Taylor's judgment as commander in chief of the requirements of national security and not the criticisms of those who preach a consolation threat and the lateral. Arms reduction. Mayor Eric Johnson said Wednesday he is not in favor of the entire city council among to be coordinated to meet next week with a fair par par partnership. What you can get into every time somebody has someone to talk about is having a council meeting in the living room, Johnson said. I can imagine the council going and not attending any group as it could be added. The council was invited by J.B. Jackson and Block Partnership meeting Tuesday then to come out and discuss their homeowners to purchase their land by the city for a fire park parking lot. 
Johnson acknowledged that two or three council members go out in the neighborhood and areas within the city staff personnel for the neighborhood meetings with discuss problems with residents. But he said it has been in recourse with not a neighborhood meeting. He added that he would not be opposed to an individual council meeting. Our members discussed in a situation with the 40 landowners who are holding out for the better price. Johnson emphasized, however, that he has the land acquisition problem in the meeting is a ministry of matter. He has summoned for a city manager, Scott McDonald, and this people to settle. Faced with a threat of confrontation at City Hall, McDonald said Tuesday he plans to contact personally and summon the block partnership and committee members. Our whole purpose is to get the individual property owners to sit down and discuss the problem with my waterway agents. We want to determine what they feel is the proper value for their land and see if there is not room for negotiation to a fair understanding within the limits of the fair market value for the property. McDonald said, how many owners rejected an offer of $1 square foot instead of the same five cents, which was related to them by Councilman George Allen and claimed that the city has never come to us and asked us what we want. They just tell us what they are going to give us. McDonald said Wednesday that right of way agents are willing to ask them individually what they think their property is worth. He all day with a man's personal property and should be handled individually for him with what he's starving for, he said. And also proper the city government at Tuesday night's meeting said, I don't see what could be accomplished by the council going out there. I only meet with him to make a statement of policy about the matter of the way he must be doing the negotiating. Saigon Terse and Saigon Kildo. Time has finally went out for the Satori House for the Security of the Vox, a controversial young adult ministry sponsored by Area Presbyterians. The doors of Wallace Dependent House at 2011 Oak Lawn were locked up this week after the steering committee and the Dallas Urban Council of the Presbyterian Church had recommended operations that ended for the Satori House, which has been the center of criticism by the Mississippi Time Ministry at the end came correctly. We began to get the idea that we were being going to be closed last April, said Reverend Andrew Short, director of the Satori House, explained Wednesday. The end was part of a national course of events. Controversy surrounded the North House by young adults who the last summer when a number of laymen from Dallas Presbyterian churches charged that teenage women were being harbored there. Legends of sex and dope usage in the house were also were cited. Satori staff members were given permission to continue the operation last February after agreeing to stop their specialized ministry to hippies. Since then, the ministry has emphasized personal counseling, sensitivity training, and group encounters with young adults. Dr. Dan Foster, chairman of the Dallas Urban Council, said it closed on the Satori House in no way to mean that the Presbyterian Church members were dropped from this area of ministry. When we operated the Satori House in 1967, when there was really an experiment to see if we could be reached groups that we have never reached before, Dr. Foster said it is a feeling of the young adult committee of the council that much has learned it, that it's a time to end this phase of the program. One urban council member explained that the Young Adult Committee had mentioned about continuing to finance a program that believed overlap similar ministries. The committee said that a number of groups included the Dallas Young Adult Institute who were using the group of concept that was being practiced at Stoyas, he said. The reputation gained by the House in recent months made it more and more difficult for us to accomplish what we had on to do. We had said the Reverend Mr. Chauvin, I wish the organized religion would have to leave it up to people who may not be qualified to fill the Need we try to fill when the first opened in September 1967. Central House was proclaimed nationally as the first attempt by any children's body to pursue such as young adult ministry. Dr. Foster said in the National Ministry Committee of the National Presbyterian that the Presbyterian Church U.S. is expected to adopt the recommendation of the Urban Council Monday officially seeing the program. Metroplex weather, fair and warmer Thursday, high Thursday in the low 80s, and low early Friday in the low 60s, and high Wednesday, 77 degrees. In other news, Young Cuban soldier escapes in whale well of Spanish jetliner. Survivors report ill fated ship received no warning. Five arranged for daughters to run away with the Vietnam to be with him. Yarber calls for new federal health and safety law. An army said GI who criticized war must go to a Vietnam because he was qualified. Implied content anti drunk driver law signed by governors. Greenport extends strict liability rules to explode and bottle damage check claims. Appeals court orders new trial in case of Dallas ban caught in drugs. State budget bill certified by payment. Teachers raise held up. Mexican bench hand charged with the rape slaying of a high school girl and a seven year Archbishop of San Antonio raised signs his post. No cutback seen on City Hall Convention Center. More immunizations are recommended for the three groups of students. Calgaville Correctional Institute is phasing out its farming operations. Merit is to be merged with Negro Group and invented by SNCC. Students' complaints result in permanent denial for computer school. An unsensical and funny jaunty jalpies will open in a new Lowe's Theater. You will never be the same after Ken Phil's at the festival. Herbert Fink sections the combines first Trump. Summon season art show.
Rookies of the Year. Asian Papa's ship to could seem to be expected useful lovers. Rafael stood on board a Mexican airline which crashed in Mexico, and Leo Elder made claims to some attorneys because of racial taunts. Turkey expert a package offered new market for Texas agribusinesses and Capital Southwest proposes to expand its investment in company role, and Lord's Bosman can't forget those years of red cap. That's me with KFWT Primetime News, and it's Wednesday, June 4th, 1969. Peace and have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.